Good morning, everyone, from beautiful Clayton, North Carolina. We're at 10 a.m. It's already 75 degrees. I want to go over some of the upgrades I've done on my 2024 Road Glide so far and what I'm still planning on doing. So let's get started. So from the front of the bike, we have the front fender. I do want to change. I already ordered the carbon fiber. I just like the way it looks. I know some people think it's ugly. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I did the 10-inch windshield, as you can see. Come along this side. I rolled my bars forward. I did a video on how to roll the bars forward, so if you're not sure, check out the video. Um, on my last bike, I had 14-inch bars. This one, I'm going to probably about 12 uh, it's definitely not as high as my 14s, but very comfortable. I rolled it forward, and I, I mean, I went back and forth to Florida with these, uh, you know, from North Carolina to Florida for Daytona Bike Week with the bars, and they were fantastic. I never got fatigued. My shoulders never hurt. Love the seat also, by the way. All right, we also did the tank badging, as you can see. I put on a new derby cover. On the derby covers, remember when you put them on, don't tighten the screws in a circle. You want to go, honestly, you, well, exactly like you would do on a tire. So I did one, and then I went down here to two, and back up here to three, and over here to four, and then over there to four. Uh, I did a stage two speakers and amp upgrade. Um, I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't, wasn't doing YouTube videos yet. Um, very easy to do. It's not hard at all. And these noses, even, you know, everything that has to do with working on these bikes has become so much easier than they were on my 2020. Um, I did the last Harley update for software, which included an amp update. There is a video on that. If you haven't done it yet, go check it out. I also show how to make sure that you need it and that you're not already on the latest version. And please read um, my description because I made a mistake, but I fixed it in the description so you can see it from there. Back of the bike, I did the license plate bracket. I now have the LED bracket from, where's that from? Oh, Custom Dynamics. I got the, 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 I didn't want to drill holes. So there was a guy on Etsy who made a frame or, yeah, a plate frame or a plate bracket that the frame attaches to. And uh, he did it on his home computer. It was like 14 bucks. It was worth every penny of it. And, you know, sits nice and flush, so I have no complaints at all. I put the uh, Harley-Davidson branded saddlebag covers on. I like them a lot. They are fantastic. I did the Extreme Wedge air cleaner because uh, I did, I don't know if I, I forget if I mentioned it, uh, Cam 2 upgrade or Stage 2 Cam upgrade. I went with the Torque the power uh, upgrade uh, to stage two. And I also did a Bassani two into one full length road rage exhaust system that I absolutely love. Matter of fact, let me crank it up so you can hear it. Absolutely love that Road Rage Bassani exhaust system. If you're thinking about upgrading, I would think about doing that one. Um, as you can hear, it's got a lot. But when I'm going down the highway, it's not too loud. And I did the, that's why I did the full length, because I do a lot of long distance riding. And I hate like how loud the exhaust can get on a really long ride. So anyhow, check out my other videos, please. And if you found this video useful in any way, please give me a like, um, follow me, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing many more up, uh, updates and uh, things on the bike. And anything I do, I will do a video on. Thank you. Bye.